hey all let's see about correlation in this video let's get into the topic so firstly what is a correlation it is a statistical measure that actually expresses the extent to which two variables are linearly related in simple it is a measure of how things are related the study of how variables are correlated is called as correlation analysis let's see some examples your caloric intake and your weight the amount of food that you take is correlated to your weight the amount of time you study and your gpa the time you spend studying is correlated to your marks that you get in your exams now let's see the formula to calculate the correlation r is equal to summation of xi minus x bar yi minus y bar divided by root of summation of xi minus x bar the whole square summation of yi the y bar whole square mm, the formula seems to be confusing right let me explain so here r of x y is r is relation of x and y and xi is the each independent value and x bar is the mean of every each value and similarly yi and y bar let's see an example and before that subscribe to my channel which is actually free of cost or at least hit the like button so that it gets recommended to others thank you and now getting into our example this is sweta she is an investor her portfolio primarily tracks the performance of the S&P 500 and Sweta wants to add the stock of Apple before adding the Apple to her portfolio she wants to access the correlation between the stock and the S&P 500 to ensure that adding the stock won't increase the systematic risk of her profile which means the portfolio to find the coefficient Sweta gathers the following prices for the last 5 years So now as a first step we are calculating the mean for S&P 500 and Apple we are just doing it because in our formula we have x bar and y bar which in our example it denotes the mean of x that is S&P 500 and y that is Apple so now as a second step we subtract each value with the mean we just do it because in our formula we have xi minus x bar which mean x is our each independent value and x bar is our mean similarly for y and y bar so as a next step since there is a summation in the formula we are summing the values of x and y so as a last step since we have already calculated the xi minus x bar and yi minus y bar we are just squaring those two so finally now by using the obtained numbers sweta can calculate the coefficient which is 0.95 having positive correlations this means that their respective prices tends to move in the same direction so if the value is minus 1 it is an perfect negative correlation the variables tends to move in opposite directions if it is zero then there is no correlation between two variables and if it is one there is a perfect positive correlation which in our case we had a high positive correlations between the two variables and that's it about the concept if this video gets 100 likes and above i can make a specific video on normal distribution please mention in the comment section that yes or no to make a video on normal distribution thank you